Hey guys, it's Tab. I thought I'd give a uh, just a comprehensive walkthrough of the FreeFly configuration application. Uh, define what everything does, what every parameter means, that kind of thing, so you have a good understanding of the whole application. Um, in general, we have three main windows. We have configuration, terminal, and chart. Configuration has all the configuration parameters that you'll need to set up anything you need to change or modify on your Movi. Um, terminal is not normally used only for troubleshooting. Chart, so the chart shows a variety of parameters, um, live graphing wirelessly to show what the Movi's doing. Right now we're looking at attitude. Uh, you can see I'm manipulating uh, the pitch axis, it's showing on the graph. If I move the roll axis, it's showing on the graph. If I move the pan axis, it's showing. Under the general window, we have battery voltage. Um, this shows the live real-time voltage of the battery powering the Movi. Charge used, so 312 milliamp hours. Uh, this is how much charge we've used on this pack. Temperature, so this is reporting uh, the temperature of the Movi, 48.3 degrees Celsius. And then we have pressure, that's from uh, the barometer inside of the uh, gimbal controller. <clears throat> Motors, so this shows the percentage of power that each motor is outputting right now. Um, typically the, these motors being or these uh, these figures being low indicates a very good balance you can see as I make the Movi fight against me these figures rise and fall um, so as I'm pushing against the motors they're pushing back against me and varying the power output all right so now that we've looked at chart let's uh, pop into configuration um, we've gone through all of these through Majestic so let's look at general now. Um, gimbal application. This allows you to switch from handheld, which is what we're using, to airborne. Um, the only reason you want to switch to airborne is if you're going to mount your Movi to a multi-rotor. Uh, roll trim <clears throat> allows you to adjust the roll trim to compensate for any inconsistency in camera mounting, etc. If, say, your horizon is slightly off level, you can pop in here and actually adjust that with... Uh, with these values. So you can see I'm actively trimming the gimbal each way. We put it back to zero for now. Um, max tilt angle. So this defines the maximum tilt up angle that the, that the camera can do. Um, the reason for changing this is with various lenses and various accessories you might get to a point where if you tilt up too much it'll hit. You can hit the frame. You, want it, you don't want that to happen so you can you can limit that in software. Um, <clears throat> in the same way you can limit how far down you can look. A lot of times you might want to limit it to, you know, sometimes it, the footage looks a little bit weird if you go beyond vertical looking down. So you could limit that to 90 degrees or 100 degrees to keep your camera operator from going inverted. Um, <clears throat> remote operator configuration. All these settings uh, we'll talk about later when we talk about the remote but they allow you to define the way the remote acts and the way the remote feels. Remote controller configuration. Um, all of these settings allow you to use various other radios besides the DX7 that comes with the Movi. If you're a multi-rotor um, customer and you have a Futaba radio that you want to use or similar, you can come in here to, to, to basically map the channels for the Movi. All right, so under the Expert tab, we have Gyro Filter and Output Filter. Uh, those two settings, what they do is apply varying amounts of smoothing to either the readings coming from the gyros or the signals headed to the motors. Um, these two settings can be adjusted as needed for different size cameras. We'll provide baseline tuning for different camera packages uh, that we've optimized for these two filter settings. Or if you're an expert, you can jump in there and tune it yourself um, based on some guidelines that we give in the manual. Um, in addition to these, we have <clears throat> status windows around the GUI um, right here. We have some information down here. I'll just walk you through that. The status uh, running compass good, so that means the compass calibrated and initialized acceptably. Radio right now says LOS, which stands for loss of signal because we don't have the radio actually turned on. Um, GPS good, which means we're getting a valid lock, even though we're inside a building right now. Um, we're getting some GPS signal through the through the skylight, so it's actively locked. Drive good, uh, that's the drive that controls the motor, so that's reporting um, acceptable parameters. 
IMU good, <clears throat> that's the inertial measurement unit. Um, it's kind of the, the core brain of the Movi. It runs through a series of self checks and diagnostics when you power on, so that's reporting good. Boot, okay, that means the, the system started up uh, acceptably. Battery, 15.3 volts, so this has a little, basically a fuel gauge that shows where you're at as far as your battery usage. Temperature, 48 degrees. Satellites, we have 11, and time, uh, this, this system has been live for 75 minutes now. <clears throat> um, the only other thing in the GUI that you'll really need to know is under system, we have reboot controller, which basically is resets the system, right configuration. So when you change parameters within the GUI, uh, the system will not store them until you do a right config. So if you change a bunch of things and you were to power down the system, it would revert to its last known good setting. So it's important that if you change some things and you want those changes to be persistent, you need to hit right configuration. Read configuration uh, pulls the configuration from the Mobi to the tablet. Default configuration um, is the default configuration that we set here in the factory. If you get things very messed up and you don't know what to do, you can always go back to default, the default configuration. Uh, similarly, if things get messed up and you're not sure what to do, you can restore factory calibration, which sets all the parameters on the Mobi back to the factory calibration settings. Um, so between those two, those two settings, if you get messed up and confused, you can just go back to the default configuration and then start from the same place that you started from when you pulled it out of the box. So uh, there's a lot of information being piped from the Movi to a tablet or a computer, whatever you might be using. So it's, uh, it's great to learn how to use all this to your benefit to get even better shots with the Movi. Um, hope that helps explain some of the, some of the uh, FreeFly configurator. Thanks.